And then I went into what was called the dirty utility room to make sure it had been cleaned up from the shift before. And I turned the light on and there on this dirty utility counter was a child laying there. And he said that it had been born alive and that the nurse had had to do something. Our clinics were caught by the CBS affiliate in Dallas, Texas at that time, attempting to do abortions on women who were not pregnant. And that's what it really hit home for me, that, that this was a life growing inside of me when they showed me just a little flicker on the screen and they said, that's your baby, and that's your baby's heartbeat. When you teach a generation that at the very beginning of life, life is insignificant, then as they get older, they could very possibly have the mentality that no life is significant. And thus crime goes up and the respect for the elderly goes down. How can we believe in that solidarity when it comes to rescuing people from natural disasters or poverty or disease and somehow have a blind spot when it comes to the children in the womb? Obamacare is going to enshrine abortion and rationing of health care in our society for generations to come if it is not stopped. This is the most dangerous threat to human life that this country has ever seen. The founder of Planned Parenthood, uh, initially the birth control league that became Planned Parenthood, Margaret Sanger, was a colleague and an associate of people who were closely connected to Adolf Hitler. See, for many of these people, they know that they're killing a human being, but we're just animals. And we have a right to do what we want to do, don't we? Don't we own our bodies? I mean, we're just here as a result of natural processes. Um, they say they want no God. They say they don't want the Bible to be the authority and the focal point. But what kind of world are we going to live in if we don't have those things? But there is no right and wrong. That you can go out and abort. That you can go out and, and kill other people. There are so many problems with an evolutionary worldview that it actually causes major moral decay. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, and they're endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. Among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I knew I'd been involved in the murder of 35,000 babies. The death of one woman the maiming of 19 other women. No matter what you've done in the past, um, it doesn't matter because, you know, we're still here and as long as we're here, he wants us happy. The most important thing is to know that we have a God who loves us, who died and forgives us. In the most controversial film of our time, one small voice will speak for millions. The voice of John.